Windows smashed in high-end stores. Hey, hey, Lieutenant. On my way to see Calvin. Windshields bashed on NYPD cars. Wow. Look at this shit, bro. Cops outside Brooklyn's 88th precinct also found this image last Friday night. Shoot on sight. Uh, kill a cop. It's supposed to be the crosshairs of like a rifle scope. Um, we've seen that in the past with a lot of gang activity. On Saturday at St. Patrick's Cathedral. NYPDK is NYPD killer. They're promoting killing a cop. And while police brass have raised concerns about outside agitators. Do not let people who are not from this city have you come here and screw up your city. Dr. Robert Ovitz from San Jose State University said something deeper is going on. People are escalating their tactics um, because they feel that the existing democratic system is no longer democratic. We have to be careful about focusing just on looting um, because it distracts away from the deeper fundamental crisis that we face in this society. What we are seeing right now is uh, the beginnings of an insurrection. A look back in history shows Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was once called an outside agitator by many white people in the South. When he began his movement of peaceful resistance, he was assassinated for his cause. Whoa! More than half a century later, social media is fanning the flames of fear from many ideologies, from far left to far right. We've seen organized uh, militia, neo-Nazis, neo-fascist groups who have marched on public property. This Instagram post from an out-of-town site called Warrior Unit posted a warning that a Black Lives Matter affiliate was planning to target white families. Law enforcement said the threat could have been created as a scare tactic. Yet another tweet noted, NYPD cops morale might suffer with 12 hour shifts and that should be quote, mercilessly exploited. Well, they're completely taking advantage of the situation. They're taking peaceful protests, which you know everybody backs and everybody's behind and they're taking it to the next level. President Trump has focused on the anti-fascist group Antifa, but it's clear that any number of clashing ideologies are making this defining moment in American history possibly way more dangerous, using the internet to spread the word. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.